everybody, it's Pastor Pierre here. Um, I wanted to share something really briefly with you. Oftentimes, you know, when we hear the Word of God and we uh, see stories like David and how David uh, decided that, that he wanted to fight in the midst of difficulty, he didn't seek relief, but he sought the victory. Um, and, uh, and oftentimes we're in that situation where we understand that God wants certain things to be restored to us uh, and then other things don't need to be restored. Um, just, just like when Abraham was going to sacrifice his son Isaac on the mountain as a burnt offering unto God, he told the accompanying companions in Genesis chapter 22, he said, you guys stay here, the boy and I are going to worship. And sometimes when we are going to another level, we're going to higher heights, everybody cannot go with you. And oftentimes when we lose things, we understand, oh yeah, okay, God will your word says in Joel that, that, that you will restore the years that the locusts have destroyed. Um, but it doesn't mean that every part, everything, every aspect of your life that was taken away or certain uh, associations that were destroyed need to be restored. So we find ourselves in that place where, where we can often be confused. Uh, God, do you want me to fight like David? Am I supposed to seek the victory with this thing? Um, or uh, should I just let some things go and say, you know what, this is not going with me to the next level. And I've often been in that place in this season of my life. I've wondered the same thing when I've been saying, you know what, God wants me to get my fight back. I got my butt whooped and that didn't feel good. Uh, some of those whoopings I deserve because I put myself in the prison uh, as, as Isaiah 42 and 41 uh, uh, explains to us that we, we seek after things and we go after things to really supply our needs and we've locked ourselves up in prisons. Um, but um, I would find myself in that place saying, okay, God, do I fight um, so that this can be restored or do I let it go? And the reality is that even when you don't know that answer, uh, the good thing to do and the thing that we ought to do as believers is do like Romans 8 from the Message Bible says that, that we're to do, that we really should just wait. The Bible says that God has uh, worked out everything from the beginning of our lives and that uh, He understands our pregnant condition. What does that mean? That I'm holding something, I'm carrying something, and at some point, I'm going to give birth, but right now I'm experiencing my pregnant condition, and God knows every aspect of your pregnant condition. So what we ought to do when we're in that place, we ought to just wait. Ephesians chapter 2, it breaks it down, um, and it says in Ephesians chapter 2 verse 6, from the NIV it says, and God raised us up with Christ, and seated us with Him in the heavenly realms in Christ Jesus, in order that, the, that in the coming ages He might show uh, the incomparable riches of his grace expressed in his kindness to us in Christ Jesus. And then in verse 8 it says, For it is by grace that you have been saved through faith, and this is not from yourselves, it is the gift of God, verse 9, and not by works, so that no one can boast. And it uses uh, this word in verse 6, it says, it says the word seated, and God has seated us. He has seated us. So I want to encourage you that when you are experiencing that in-between time, and when you really don't know what to do, perhaps it's God telling you to be seated. Perhaps, you know, we ought to do like the Word of God says, you know, to be still and just know that He is God. Be still and see the salvation of our God, because God uh, will get us to that point where uh, He needs us to really uh, get to know Him a little more, because we've been doing things on our own for so long, and we're trying to figure it out, and oftentimes we can't figure it out. God is trying to show us it's not meant for you to figure out, it's meant for you to be seated in this season. From the message by making in the Satan, he creates each of us by Christ Jesus to join him in the work he does, the good work he has gotten ready for us to do, work we had better be doing. Check this out. There's a work that we ought to be doing. There's a work that, that God has already prepared for us because all things have been prepared. And we better get to doing it, but it's in God's time. So the reality is that, you know, my testimony is that for so long, and actually it was a couple of years to be honest with you, um, uh, that I didn't know what to do with a couple of things, with a couple of situations uh, that I found myself in, and really, I found myself in this waiting room, and you know how we get more waiting uh, to go and see the doctor, we get antsy, we try to find things to distract us, hands start sweating, we start acting like fools, and perhaps you do things that are out of character, because that's what happens when we get uncomfortable. We may do things that are out of character. And I found myself in the waiting room and I didn't know what to do. And it's like, do I seek relief? 
uh, like most of us do as Christians. God, get me out of this thing. God, deliver me. God, take this uh, hardship away from me. Or do I seek the victory like David? The Bible says that David told the king, you know what? Listen, I want to fight. Why, why won't y'all let me fight? I want to fight. So I found myself, do I want to fight? Do I need to fight? Um, do I do I say restore? Because Isaiah 42 says, you have found yourselves in prisons, locked up in chains, but there's no one to speak restore. So do I speak restore uh, and, and, and fight? Or do I just say, you know what? There comes a time and a season for everything. Sometimes it's a time to live and a time to die. You know, um, and what do I do? But I'm glad that I did this. I, I'm glad that I waited on the Lord. Isaiah 40, 31 says that they that wait upon the Lord, they shall renew their strength. Another version says that they will get new strength. They will mount up with wings like an eagle. So right in there, I found myself in my pregnant condition. But what I did, I heard the Spirit of the Lord because in the midst of it, I didn't know what to do. And the Lord said, be seated. Be seated. Why? Because there's a work that I have already done. It's already been prepared. But before I now catapult you into this next dimension of the dreams and the visions that I have given you, the thing that I place on the inside of you is not your idea. Ephesians 2, right there, it says, listen, God did this all on his own. It wasn't, it wasn't your idea. It, he worked all this out on his own. So God says, listen, I'm going to catapult you into this thing. But for right now, I need you to to learn how to wait on me and how to be patient in the waiting room and if you are in the waiting room and if you do like I want you to do it I just want you to be seated stop moving around we live in this fast-paced environment where we always got to be doing something we always got to be doing something that we find ourselves in a place where we don't know what's going on what happens is we try to now prophesy over our situations not what thus saith the Lord but but but, but what I want the Lord to say you know and we get in that place because we always got to be doing something in this world because if you're not doing something you're lazy you know you know you're not you're not you're not, you're not kind of uh, picking up your bed and walking but God says no if you do what I tell you to do which is just to be seated to sit down Medea says sat down if you just sat down just sit down that I will now train you and I will teach you things about yourself that I will give you that new strength and trust and believe that for where God is taking you you're gonna need that new strength so I encourage you my prayer for you is that we and in myself is that we will learn to be patient in the waiting room and that we will learn to uh, have an ear to hear what the Spirit is saying and have eyes to see what God is doing. Not only right now, but in the future. The Bible says that the sons of Issachar, they were wise because they were able to discern the times. So I ask you and I pray that we all, and I ask that you even seek God, I pray that what we will do, that we will uh, have the ability to discern the times, to understand what God is doing in this season. What I believe, on top of our fighting, on top of our are, are speaking restore over some things. Um, I do believe that it's very important that we be seated, that we sit down, and that we get some new strength. So uh, walk on and run on in Jesus' name and understand that God has something awesome for you. And although you don't know how it's going to work out, you don't know what's going on. The Bible says that 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 that, that if, if we are in need of something, we desire something, that when we come to the Lord, we've got to first believe that He is. That He is what? He is limitless. He is endless. There are endless possibilities. So I've got to first, when I come to God, even if, even if I'm in the waiting room, when I come to God, I've got to have confidence in Him. When I come to Him, not after you meet Him, then you got to start believing that, no, 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 when you come to Him, you've got to first believe that He is, and that He is a rewarder for those who diligently seek Him. So this season of, of, of being seated, this season of being sat down uh, by God, of God just holding us in the waiting room, not giving us the answer, because Jesus doesn't always give 100% clarity. No, He does not always give 100% clarity, but God still works all those things out for the good. But in this season, we've got to gain the confidence in God, and then really get that bold boldness and confidence in the gifts that God has given us. That divine equation, the Bible says that I can do all things through Christ that gives me strength. So here it is. It's me or it's you. You plus Christ plus, see, plus Christ 
equals all things. That's the equation that you need to understand the power in and now get that confidence so that by the time you get through this, this waiting room, you get through this, uh, this time of, that God has just sat you down, hasn't given you all the answers, you'll have confidence to just now receive everything that he has for you in this next season. What is going to happen, what's going to be revealed as I close, is that you're going to see, you're going to have one of those aha moments. Aha! Aha! You're going to have that aha moment where you're going to say, wow, it was good for me that I was afflicted. And the reality is that oftentimes, because we don't look at our situations from the vantage point of, of, of God or from heaven's perspective, uh, and that we often think we're in a crisis, but God is looking like that ain't nothing. That, you know, uh, the Lazarus had died, but Jesus looked like that ain't nothing. I'm gonna sit here for a little while. Uh, but heaven's perspective is that although you think that you are being afflicted right now because you don't have the answers, heaven's perspective, if we look up, instead of just looking around us and looking down, Heaven's perspective is that God has already worked out things on the other side. And you will have that aha moment. And you'll be like, now I get it. I understand now why God held me here. So be encouraged to the man, to the woman, that you feel like your dreams have been held up by God. To the boy, to the girl who's, who, who feels like there are certain things that should have hit their family because they have watched their parents and their, their grandmothers and their grandparents now stand firm on the promises of God and you have wondered, well, what in the world? Where is my ancestral possession? There are certain things that belong to me. God has held up some things for a certain period of time and perhaps he has even allowed the locust to go into the ground and take your seed that will now stop you from getting the harvest at a certain time. But watch this. It's all worked out. Romans 8 says, because of your love for God, it'll work out for your good. So in this season, get ready for God to reveal some things to you. You're going to have that aha moment. But in the meantime, be seated. Peace.